Many people think that Microsoft OneDrive is really only a file storage system, something that you directly access via your file explorer on your local device. And there's truly so much more to Microsoft OneDrive. So in today's video, I want to navigate all of you through all of the current core capabilities that exist for Microsoft 365 Copilot built into your OneDrive experience. That will include what they are, how to directly use them, and use cases that they can be used for, along with forward-looking updates for new features to look out for here in the not-so-distant future. Hey everyone, my name is Nick Harris, and I am a Senior Copilot Cloud Solution Architect with Microsoft. Welcome to the Microsoft 365 Copilot Connection, where we provide you all of the latest updates and information around Microsoft 365 Copilot experiences. From my experience as a SharePoint administrator and OneDrive administrator for over a decade, I understand that many of you most likely leverage OneDrive built into File Explorer, just accessing files, opening them up, and doing something with them. But there's so much more that's provided to you via the web experience for OneDrive. And that is exactly where all of the newest, latest capabilities for Microsoft 365 Copilot are directly being provided to you. Currently, I'm on the OneDrive home screen in the web browser, and I have quick access to many resources and knowledge materials at my disposal. It's not just about accessing your own personal documents in OneDrive. It's also about accessing your team documents directly in SharePoint Online. Through this web browser experience, you have access to all of that rich knowledge that exists across your enterprise. I can navigate into My Files via the My Files menu, just like you would in File Explorer. I also have the ability to access any files that have been directly shared with me or shared by me. I can also see any direct file that I have favorited in a centralized menu. And finally, any file that I have deleted, whether that be via File Explorer or through the web browser is maintained in my site recycle bin. I also have direct views based on files that people around me have shared with me or meetings that I've been a part of that could have also been recorded. And finally, media-based content, imagery and videos and those meeting recording files all centralized via these particular views. And finally, under quick access, I have all of the SharePoint site locations that I can directly go to integrated with OneDrive in the web browser to gain access to those team shared files quickly and easily. Now I've navigated into my own personal files and within this experience, what I can do with Copilot is just like any normal Copilot chat conversation, I can talk to Copilot about the data that exists in my file content. So I can navigate through and let's say we have a Word document here. I can select this Contoso marketing plan. And when I select that file, you can see here in the ribbon bar at the top, I have a Copilot option. And if I click on that option, I have easy to click options to then summarize, create factual information and brand new within the month of August, the ability to now create an audio overview off of specific files. Finally, I can prompt or ask particular questions or make particular statements using that document as knowledge to then get information or create new information. Let's just click on summarize. And now I get a quick summary of the file content that I can review. Imagine this may be a file that I haven't accessed for quite some time. The ability to just stay in this window with all of my files read through and skim this overall summary, and if I need to pull more information out of this, and this now opens the full file summary and information in the chat pane appended to the right-hand side of my screen, which I can then continue to prompt and ideate with this information as knowledge directly in this OneDrive experience. For example, I can say list the main risks identified in the plan and receive a Copilot response directly grounded in that data to generate new knowledge or understand that existing knowledge, but in different forms. Moving into another file location, I have the ability to generate facts. And now you can see we can have question and answer pairs. And this is so useful when it comes to maybe policies or procedures, information that you may have downloaded on the web that is very lengthy. And you want to just get a quick understanding of the type of data that may exist within that particular file. 
Generating facts is an alternative way to learn about the data that exists in that file content. I also have the ability to select up to five files. And what this then allows me to do is select the Copilot dropdown to also summarize all five of those files simultaneously, but then compare those files to see the key similarities and differences. Let's compare all five of these and see what it gives us back. And in this particular case, Copilot has generated a table of data. And as we see, the files are the particular rows, and this has been sectioned off into columns such as content overview, the key sections included, and unique features called out. General note that the table will be different per the documents that you're comparing. So it won't always be this exact same structure. It will be different based on the contextual information that's included. Now, one of the best features in Copilot and OneDrive is the ability to leverage Copilot against non-Office files while still keeping that particular file open. OneDrive has what we call the file viewer experience, allowing you to open up files directly in your web browser to review the file content. Let's take an example of a PDF document. I'm going to click and open this Project Falcon Project Plan PDF document. And this now opens up the PDF in File Viewer. Now, general note, you can reference PDFs with Copilot Chat as an example. However, if you wanted the file open simultaneously while you talk to Copilot, you'd have to have that open in either a different browser or a different tab on another screen where instead with your OneDrive experience, you can keep that PDF or even an image file as example, open directly on your screen, and then open Copilot as the right side prompting bar experience. I can directly talk to Copilot about this file all in one unified window. So we'll summarize the file, and now we will receive a full file summary that we can review. Again, this is very useful when you have those very lengthy files, such as financial statements, 10K reports, project plans that could be legitimately hundreds of pages in length, or industry research reports. All of that rich data that you need to summarize down and understand, and then also scroll and review that direct file on the left-hand side for your own direct review. Now let's showcase an example of an image. You have the ability with that same file viewer experience to open up image data and review image data directly with the sidebar chat. So I can have Copilot aligned in OneDrive file viewer to explain the image while I have it opened and referenceable directly in front of me. Again, if I was using the main Copilot chat experience, I could do this exact same thing. However, the image is smaller, and as Copilot responds, everything scrolls up, where now instead I can keep that image centrally in front of me while also talking to Copilot on the right. And here now we see the overall response with Copilot leveraging its vision capabilities to give us explanations of what is included in that image content. Now also imagine additional scenarios where you have multiple images that you want to explain to you or compared. In Copilot in OneDrive, you have the ability to multi-select those images, and just like your document content, you can click on the Copilot dropdown and have Copilot explain or compare the image information to you. Let's go ahead and compare the images. Now look at that, we have a comparison of the image information, navigating through main focus, details, data flows, security mention, all the unique aspects that the images included, with one being the GPT-5 architecture and the other being the Microsoft 365 process flow architecture for Copilot. I will say a lot of customers do ask me, Nick, can you compare or talk about multiple images within the same conversation or prompt? This may be one of those unique ways that you can do so, multi-selecting images and then talking to Copilot about that image data. Another option for images available as well is the ability to extract text from those images very easily. So all I need to do is click on the image or select and click on the Copilot icon and extract text. And there we go. We have all of the direct text that's included in the image that I've selected 
that I can easily then copy and paste and use for some other form or purpose. Using Copilot experiences, you are reading a ton because Copilot outputs a ton of text. And you might want to just listen in at times to understand the data that you have selected. And so in this case, the brand new option that's just rolling out right now here in August is the ability to create an audio overview. Hello, and welcome to this audio summary, highlighting the core marketing guidelines for Project Falcon, an initiative designed to bridge physical collectibles and digital assets using blockchain technology. The framework I'll discuss is based entirely on the Project Falcon marketing guidelines document, which outlines strategic approaches for launching and sustaining their digital collectibles platform. Now, what's really amazing about these audio overviews is there are additional options that we're making available to you. For example, if I click on the three ellipses within the audio overview, I can now directly save that audio file to my OneDrive. I can also view the transcription that the AI has generated. And finally, I can switch the style to that podcast style audio overview if I so choose. Imagine scenarios where you might have living, breathing files that are being updated or collaborated on, or maybe you're getting new versions of those files all the time. You have the ability to have maintained audio summaries of those files as updates are being made, and you can store all of those centrally within your OneDrive experience. Now, within the Microsoft 365 ecosystem, Microsoft 365 is built to be collaborative in nature. So we make it easy for users to share content around amongst each other to easily collaborate and communicate. And within this particular sharing experience, we now build Copilot summary options. For example, if I want to share a file with my colleague for them to either review or live collaborate with me, I have the ability to click on the share dialog. And now within that shared dialog, I have the insert file summary with Copilot option. Very quickly and easily, all I have to do is create that summary to then send off to my colleague so they have a direct view of the type of content that I'm sharing with them. It's very important to provide descriptive information than just the file name so the people around you know what you're working on and the type of information they're about to look at. Now, for any of you that have worked in SharePoint Online, you may now be aware that these same menu click options for summarization and comparison and generating facts are not available in the SharePoint Online document library experience, at least as of right now. However, in OneDrive, you can access your SharePoint document libraries. And this is amazing because if you do so via OneDrive in the web, you can use those menu style options. So if I click on Project Falcon, I can navigate to my Project Falcon team site, as you see here on the screen. This is a SharePoint document library. And when I'm in this experience from OneDrive, I can click and select files, and you see Copilot is built into the ribbon bar at the top, providing me the exact same capabilities. Let's see what this looks like if I navigate into the SharePoint Online document library as of today. So here's that exact same SharePoint Online document library. You see the exact same files that existed. And if I select a document directly in here, where are the Copilot options? Where are the AI options? I can create a SharePoint agent if I want, but I don't really need to do that. Maybe I just need to summarize or maybe I just need to compare. Those options are not currently available directly in SharePoint Online. However, as a forward-looking update, this will be changing. In about the next month or two, within September or October of 2025, we will be releasing a feature where in the SharePoint Document Library ribbon bar, you will have AI actions. And so from that SharePoint user experience, you'll be able to utilize that same form of functionality against your files. So right now, if you want to compare or summarize or create factual information, navigate to OneDrive, click on your SharePoint document libraries or sites, and use the options via your OneDrive experience. And that then leads us into forward or future-looking updates. General note on new functionalities that will be available for OneDrive in the future. 
the biggest functionality that we are waiting for is OneDrive agents. Just like how in SharePoint Online, you have the ability to create an agent grounded in your SharePoint Online data, you will also have the ability to do this via OneDrive. We will be making OneDrive a grounding source for knowledge here in the not so distant future. Also, on this particular home screen, we will be making an option available to help you easily catch up on updates that are happening within your files and files shared with you by others. That option will be available for you as a button click option here on this particular home screen. And it will give you a summary report of all of those variety of activities, including comments that are happening within your collaborative files so you can stay up to date and up to speed on what's going on within your data. Some smaller updates as well will have updates to allow you to take Word documents and send them automatically to generate a PowerPoint presentation, as well as in that Copilot sidebar experience in OneDrive, the ability to automatically send the output to a Word document that you save in your OneDrive experience. Now to finalize all of this, you may wonder why am I talking about OneDrive today? For those of you that are more seasoned veterans of Copilot experiences, at this point, you probably understand that you are creating a ton more data, and a lot of that data is being centrally stored in your OneDrive. OneDrive Copilot thus allows you to more easily manage and understand that content, especially if it's content that you are generating via your partner, which is Microsoft 365 Copilot. So that's it for me for today, everyone. Thank you all so much for your time and support as always. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe as always, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one, everybody.